In today's video, we're kind of just going to be hanging around the house. I'm going to show you guys what I usually do on a daily basis when it comes to fitting in writing, reading, things like that. I don't have any errands to run today, so I decided today was a good opportunity to do this sort of video where I show you guys my process for how I fit things into my writing schedule, into my reading schedule, and just into my personal life as well. So I've already done a lot of my morning routine, including getting my coffee because I can't make it through any day without coffee. Um, so now that I have all my morning stuff out of the way, let's jump right into it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my breakfast because you need breakfast to start the day and to have fuel to do what you're gonna do. So I'm just gonna have some banana and some peanut butter. And if you haven't ever had banana and peanut butter, you should do it, it's really good. Um, some people also like to put some people also like to put honey in theirs. I don't, because I don't like honey. But still, you should definitely try some bananas and peanut butter. My breakfast I like to check all my social medias my Instagram Twitter Facebook my blog all of those and if you don't already follow me on some of them go ahead and do it I'll have them linked down below um, so yeah while I eat we're just gonna go ahead and check everything so I don't go in order by my to-do list I do them in any random order so I'm gonna go ahead and knock out the 1,000 words of my current work in progress um, it's a new adult paranormal romance and it's going to be what comes out after falling for you so get ready for that but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and knock out 1000 words of this current novel all right so i went ahead and got my second cup of coffee which i've already drank as i came down the hallway um I've typed my thousand words and I feel pretty good about what I have so far. I'm really in love with this story. Um, so now we are gonna go ahead and take that bookstagram picture because if you didn't know, I do participate in bookstagram. I have developed a lot of friends on bookstagram. I'm honestly really thankful for the friends I've made and a lot of them actually became some of my beta readers for Fallen For You. So if you don't participate in Bookstagram or you don't have some sort of Instagram community, I would definitely find one because honestly, it feels really good to have that group of people that you can go to and interact with on a daily basis. So yeah, without further ado, we'll go ahead and take that Bookstagram picture. to-do list is research some honeymoon locations. Um, I am getting married in October to my fiance Devin. Um, we've been together for over five years now and <clears throat> yeah I'm pretty excited. We still don't know where we're going yet so we have been looking at all kinds of places. Um, we tried to book uh, our honeymoon in the Dominican Republic with this one resort, but um, that fell through. They were kind of sketchy, so um, we're still looking. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of research on some good places to go, and I'll get back to you in a minute. So the 
last two things on my to-do list are to read my updated mangas and then to read at least 100 pages in this book Ender by Carrie Jones. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do all my reading and I'll probably see you guys around dinner time. Okay, right, so for the last few hours, I've just kind of been sitting in my room reading, drinking some coffee, did a little searching on YouTube for some different things, and now I am cooking dinner for my family and I. We're going to have some chicken fajitas tonight. One of the things that I was going to talk to you about that I mentioned earlier on in the video is sort of how you can manage your writing schedule and your writing career with other things. So, um, one of the biggest things that you can do to ensure that you're meeting all of your personal life stuff um, and different things like that, and also if you juggle school and work as well on top of all that, um, the biggest advice I can give you is to have goals and to have like to-do lists. So some people do monthly goals, some people do weekly goals, some people do quarterly goals, and some people do yearly goals as well. But I would try and squeeze it down to at least quarterly, um, just because a year is kind of harder to manage and to spread out. It's better to have small chunks of goals that you can meet. So for me personally, I like to have quarterly goals and then I have daily to-do lists that help me to meet them. So for example, with my current work in progress, I want to have the entire thing written by July. Um, so I have daily goals that I try and meet to do that. You saw one of them today, writing at least a thousand words. Um, so by doing that, you're able to come up with how you're going to fit everything into your schedule and how to organize everything. Um, and you do that with anything, with work, with school. All right, I have a homework assignment due this day. So I'm gonna fit it in at this time while also using any spare time I have left to work on my work in progress, read this book, write this blog review, um, things like that. So creating goals and then having your set plan on how you're going to achieve those goals is one of the best ways that you can manage your time as an author and really as anything else too. Even if you don't write books, you still could really benefit from having goals, whether they're monthly, quarterly, weekly, things like that. Just come up with a plan and find out how you're gonna achieve that plan. And write it out too. Seeing it written out and having it in front of you makes it a lot easier to accomplish because you know what you want to do and you know how you're going to do it. You could also have other people keep you accountable as you work on it as well. Whether you post your goals online for other people to see and keep your fans up to date on what you're doing, um, goals are just a really good way of keeping up with all that you have going on in your life. So dinner's ready and I'm now eating with my family. So that's gonna be it for this video. Don't forget to check out all my social medias. I'll have them linked below. Also like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.